Hi guys, welcome to another video from myself, RC Steve B. Something a little bit different today. We're going to be looking at the evolution of one of my trucks, my SCX10. And in this video, you'll be seeing how it evolved from the standard SCX10 deadbolt into this, my Captain America power wagon. I first got involved in the RC crawler scene several years ago when I purchased this HGP402 from Banggood.com. Even though it was advertised as a rock crawler, it was in fact more of a trail truck. But that didn't stop me from making it my own by adding bits to it. And before long, I started making little RC action movies. To watch a couple of these, if you want to, by all means, please do by clicking the button at the top right hand of the screen, where you'll see how my editing skills have certainly improved over the years. It didn't take long for me to get involved with a couple of local groups and it also didn't take me long to realise that if I wanted to continue with this hobby I was going to need something a little bit better than the 402. So I invested in a second hand Axial SCX10 deadbolt. I absolutely loved this truck, it was so different from the P402, it was unbelievable. But being a big Land Rover fan, I jumped at the opportunity after a couple of years of getting the Killer Body Marauder kit. Now this was a really good kit, very high quality Lexan and also lots of detailing on the body itself. After I'd ran this for a little while, I then decided to get another Killer Body shell. This time I went for a hard shell of the Toyota LC70. Again, very, very highly detailed. Unfortunately, to get the body to sit correctly on the chassis of the SCX10, the LC70 body had to sit very, very low. This meant lowering the suspension on the chassis. This meant that if it came into contact with any obstacle more than an inch to two inches tall, and it ground out and got stuck. So I decided once again to swap bodies over. It was about this time that Captain America Civil War hit the cinemas, so I decided that I wanted to do a themed truck. And seeing as how I had a Captain America figure handy, I decided that it would be a good idea to pick my side and go Team Cap. So I brought the 1940s Proline Dodge Power Wagon and set to work. As you can see, I also challenged myself where the painting was concerned by masking off in a quite a detailed pattern for me and adding cutouts to the inside of the Lexan and then spraying the paint over the top of them. And I hope you agree with me that it turned out not too bad. I was really quite proud of it. But the other day I was sitting down, looking at it sitting on the shelf like most trucks end up doing after they've been used a few times and you move on to a different project. Lately I've been working on my UMG 6x6, the Axial SCX 10-2, changing it into a Land Rover 6x6. So I thought I'd take the old gal off the shelf, put a fresh battery in her and take her out for a run. And here's that run that we had a couple of days ago. So sit back and enjoy.
Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy seeing the evolution of my original Axial SCX10. It's been through a lot of bodies, but it's also done quite a few miles and it's still working like an absolute dream. As I say, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, next video from me should be from Bradgate Park. Uh, we're going up there, a couple of us, obviously socially distanced on the 6th of December. If you enjoy what you've just seen, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the button over here and also dropping a big thumbs up. Let me know that you like the content. And if you want to see some more RC videos, I'm going to add a play link over here with some group crawls that we've had, and that should see you through for a good couple of hours. Until the next time, guys, happy RCing.